Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Caitlin here from GreyFlorals.com and today I have the final room tour for this space. I will be moving all this stuff very soon to my new apartment or at least the majority of this stuff for a little bit. But I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the space and then we'll dive into it. Um, now it's not perfect, it never is, never will be, but I did want to show you guys sort of how it looks now and then I am also going to be filming a video about sort of packing it all up and moving it because I know a lot of people end up having to move and they don't really know how to tackle their stash. So um, this is also going to be a selective craft room tour. There is walls behind me, obviously this is a room, but um, most of that's not crafting stuff. So we're going to stick to this side and I'll try to keep it pretty brief. I know some people like longer ones, but I personally like medium sized craft room tours. So uh, first we'll do an overview of my desk. Um, I have a stool if someone else comes to scrapbook. I have my chair, which is a dining room chair, and then my desk itself is a dining room table that I had purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I only have one of the chairs here, but I did come with a full set. Um, and you can see all of my lighting equipment and my big DSLR set up to record for when I am ready to. And then my second light is over here. And if I can find a link to these um, items, I'll have them down below in case you guys are interested in what supplies I use. Um, just in case you wanted to start scrapbooking. To the right here, for an overview, I have my pegboard and then the shelving unit. And to the right of that, I have um, two uh, drawer units and then some small organizational units on top of that. Again, you guys can see that this is a well-lived-in craft space. I did tidy it up a little bit, but not too much. And then to the left, well, actually underneath my desk, there's some things, but to the left of my desk is my paper organizer, um, a set of shelves, and then some more items on top there, just organizational stuff. And then all the way to the left corner, I have my 12 by 12 paper. So let's dive into my desk setup. I have shared this before, but it has changed as well. And you can see I have piles of stuff on my desk too. It's uh, just something that comes with the hobby. Uh, the first main thing here is this organizational system. This is from Harbor Freight. Um, it's a rotating trolley here. The bottom two have die cuts and tags. This uh, third shelf is very miscellaneous. I have some mixed media, some stamps, felt, um, and then the last one is all mixed media because some are so tall I needed to put them on top. To the right of that I have my doilies, tissue paper, um, bags, some frames, that sort of stuff goes in here. My heat gun, my projects I want to work on shortly, and then some projects that were given to me. My trimmer generally stays up here, but sometimes I stand it up. On top of my desk is my Martha Stewart craft mat, and then the current project I just finished, as well as the items that I'm working with in my kit this month. So I keep them in some storage containers. And then I have a whole video about this unit and what's inside of it that I'll have linked down below. On top of it, I keep some of my main things. I have my outlight, paper towels, and then behind that I have a lot of cards that people have sent me, as well as some stuff people have sent me and made me on this side as well. So to the right, again, I have the pegboard system. I have everything on binder rings, so it's easy to get off and sift through. And I've shown these a lot in my videos um, for how they are organized. And then I have some canvases I've painted on top of that. But now visiting the other side of the desk, I have my totally Tiffany caddy here. Um, scissors, glues, pens, all that stuff. Here are my uh, main inks. These are Distress inks and then a couple smaller cubes of MFT inks. And then in the top here is embossing powders in an effort to use them more often. I put them closer to my desk. Stamp platform, uh, adhesive, wax paper, current photos I'm working on. Uh, my sequins are in this little guy here. Uh, enamel dots and gems on those. Here's my little card station. I even have some cards drying up here that I'll move out of the way, but um, card bases, card fronts, cards that I'm coloring, fun foam, and then my die keeper. This is a newer addition to my stash. Uh, my friend Daisy and I were talking about making something like this where you put your new stuff or stuff you want to use in a container on your desk. That way you have to grab towards it first and maybe having to actually grab something to use on every layout that you do. That way you work through the things you want to do and the things that you love. I also have paper clips and then my phone holder for when I do my live streams. And then here's a random basket. Um, this is actually my bag for the camera I'm filming on now as well as additional little... Uh, holders and then some projects I'm trying to work on again. I'm trying to make some lotion holders and then some tic-tac holders so that's fun. 
But that's pretty much everything that's on my desk. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Now we'll just move beneath my desk uh, before I forget to do that. And you'll find that there's a lot under here and it is messy. So starting off, I have a drawer unit to the left of my chair. This is a bunch of random things. The first drawer is indeed a junk drawer. I like having that for just random bits. Then the next three are a uh, kit that I put together that I wanted to keep together, which I've shown in videos before. So that's what those are. Next up is my 12 by 12 stickers and chipboard sheets. This one is mainly just embellishments that are out of their packaging that needed somewhere to live. Um, I put them in this divider tray. And then these ones, this is a K and Company uh, collection. This is Christmas. And then the bottom one is uh, projects. So like paper pumpkin projects, those sort of types of projects. And then I'm not sure how this will show up on camera, but this is where I keep all my extra albums, my page protectors, and then boxes like these. Sorry, my hand just like these ones over here are like Christmas boxes or my Wild Whisper stuff were in boxes like that. And then you guys can see extra page protectors and stuff over there. Now this bin off to the right is all of my 12 by 12 papers. Again, I have a whole video about this as well. So I'll have that linked down below. I'll have the whole craft room cleanup uh, process and stuff linked down below. And I include page kits in here as well. So nothing too crazy happening under here other than just random albums thrown everywhere. But um, I do like having them sort of at a moment's notice when I need them um, because I find that's very much when I need them is at a moment's notice. So we're going to move back over to the right of my desk because this is the second stop I usually go to for when I'm making projects. And we already went over the bulletin board or the pegboard. So next we're going to talk about the first shelf here. This, uh, these two bins are the majority of my newer stamps um, before I took them out of packaging. Uh, so they're all in Avery L sleeves and they're sorted by categories with these blue dividers. And I have a whole video about this as well. And I'll have, again, all the whole playlist for the craft room cleanup, which I guess this will be the end of craft room cleanup and I'll start a new series for my moving stuff. But uh, I'll have all those linked down below in case you guys are interested. I do get a lot of questions about how I store my letter stickers. And this is the one way I store like bigger sticker sets, um, specifically thickers. And it's on this rotating um, beauty here from Hobby Lobby. Um, I actually accidentally purchased one that was on clearance and I wouldn't say it was an accident other than it was broken and I didn't know that until I got home so what I ended up having to do was have my dad create a new base for it so this is just a scrap piece of wood we had and we made it work um, but I do have a bunch of extra clips and stuff and there are other brands of these on the market so Hobby Alive is definitely not the best brand but it could work for what you might need and to the left of that I have underneath my stamp drawers these four uh, little target drawers as well as like extra notepads that I keep for notes. The one to the right keeps extra adhesives and then some tools like my powder tool, but mostly adhesive. This one keeps extra extra things, so like my art gum eraser, my adhesive remover, more fun foam, more acrylic blocks, and then a bunch of like little doodads I don't use as much anymore, like rub-on tools, that sort of stuff. This one over here is, well, I have one ink in there because it doesn't fit with my other inks, but I have my sequin holders, which are just little heart dishes, uh, my piercing pad, my black thread, and then my little letter stickers, my tiny letter stickers. The top one is my ink drawer. Um, I have my favorite Stampin' Up! stamp block, and then a variety of inks. Color Box, Versafine, uh, Memento, Studio Calico, Stampin' Up! Whatever fits in there fits in there, but my main colors are the neutrals, generally. And then coming down, um, this has changed quite a bit um, the last few times I've been over here uh, trying to rearrange it. Um, so I'll just go over from left to right what's going on here. I moved my sketchbook down to here, so it was ready to go when I was. And then next to that I have my little accordion expandable file folder, and this holds my current papers and kit for the How to Kill a Kit with Style group, and then this divider next to it, which I believe these are from Close to My Heart. This one holds that month's stuff as well. Next to that, this whole this whole trunk right here, from this divider to these papers, to this guy right here to these papers, is all of my Disney supplies. Then I have my DC album and my Disney album, which are the two travel albums I'm currently working on. 
And up here I have a 6x8 Project Life album because this is where I store all of my additional page protectors, which I can show you. I don't have them divided in a certain way, I just flip through to find one that I want. Some of them are by sizes because I'd open them and just put them in, but this holds all of my small page protectors. And then we move into more organization of letter stickers. Um, I have this Target container here, it's a magazine holder. Um, and these were at one point sorted by size. Now they're just thrown in here. So, but lots of good options. There's some stickers that I forgot about. Like I love these uh, Maggie Holmes crepe paper ones. Um, it's a pretty little studio and then some like really old style ones. Next to that, I have my scrap storage. So I keep plain colors in here and then patterns in here and then two magazine racks again. Nothing too crazy there. Underneath that shelf, I have a couple more things. This is the completed layouts I have to put away, at least that's some of them. Um, one part of the room that I will not be showing you is the other section of where the rest of those are. And then down here, this is my previous How to Kill a Kit with Style kit that I wanted to keep together. Um, so this will just hold extra kits that I want to keep. And then snuck down there is my Cricut supplies and then my fountain pen um, that I keep in that little box. Uh, but that's all my Cricut stuff that goes in my Cricut, my old, old Cricut. So if we pan over here, um, I have a lot going on. I can't show you the floor because it's a disaster, but I will show you what's in these drawers over here. Actually, let's do what's on top first. On top is my card station, as I call it. Now, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, I have cards people have sent me, and then I have envelopes and cards to be sent out, but they all go in this bin, as well as the envelopes and like return address labels are back there and stuff like that. So that's up here. Um, this is also a card holder that I'd made. It's falling apart. And um, this is a scrapbook kit again. Just random stuff everywhere around here. And you might also notice that I have a bunch of stuff over here. This is like uh, more DIY supplies. So like flowers, bows, that sort of thing for DIY projects. But in this set of orange drawers, which has been in my craft room forever, I have a bunch of stuff. First, I have ink pads and some ink cleaners in the back. And I have my Avery L uh, pockets here for storage. Um, I also have some of my homemade stamps down there. And then my stamp scrubber, my Stampin' Up stamp pads, and then my Crayola markers, which sometimes I use for watercoloring. So I kept those in there. The second drawer is which I've talked about this in Craft Room Cleanup as well, are my really old stamps. So I took all of my, what would you call these, clear stamps from a while back and put them on, in CD cases. This was the way to store it. I do have dividers that are not permanent, but they do divide them out into sections like sentiments, nature, etc. So I have a whole video about that that I'll have linked down below. And then in the last drawer, which I do not access very often, um, are my wood stamps. Um, I do want to start using these more often. I'm just, you know, procrastinating using them. Uh, but a bunch in here, nothing fancy about sorting them. Um, but this is all that I have. And I did get rid of a bunch like you guys saw in Craft Room Cleanup. Then off to the right here, this drawer that it cannot be closed at the moment is my giveaway drawer. Um, and that's what all this stuff is too, is stuff I'm giving away or that I'm donating to uh, local schools and stuff. So that's what these piles are. Um, I do have to sort through this to pick out which stuff's going to schools and which stuff will be for like my subscribers and my patrons and stuff when I do giveaways. Next drawer is DIY supplies. This is a lot of tie-dye stuff. And then I have a bunch of these bottles and then wood projects are in here. This next one is more um, fabric and burlap items. I do have some like iron transferring stuff, yarn, that sort of thing. This one's my adhesive drawer. I went through this during craft room cleanup as well. This is another drawer full of materials as I'd call them. So like pom-poms, feathers, I have these little fabric bags, organza bags, that sort of stuff. Here is the glitter and jingle bell drawer, um, but then I have like frames and chalk, candles, bells, glitter, everything you can imagine. And then this is my shipping drawer. Well, I call it that, but it's also got some uh, paint supplies, so like Q-tips, foam, but I do keep tapes that I wrap shipping items in and then small plastic bags in there. Now on top of this unit, I have this guy, and this always gets questions about it in the comments of these videos, I have no idea where you can buy something like this anymore. Um, this brand's no longer available. It's called Plano. Kind of see it there. But it's this beautiful divided um, separator organizer. Um, but I don't have all of them filled. What I do have filled 
is my embroidery floss section and my bead section. And then I have two empty ones, but I do keep my stitching templates up here as well with my embroidery floss so I can have it when I need it. But you can probably find something similar on Amazon or at a local like hardware store. And I will try to have links to similar items down below again so you guys can uh, find those sort of needs if you want them. Uh, maybe they'll be good solutions for you. Up here is a bunch of twine and ribbon, and I have a ribbon rack back here. This is the one that was available at Joann's a while back. I'm not sure if they still have it, but that's where this one is from. And then again, the ribbon, twine, got some brads up here too, and wood veneer. So who knows what's up here anymore? In the far right corner, so there's a little bit of space behind the closet door there, I do keep my fine art supplies. So you'll find my like oil paints and stuff in a bin back there. But if we pan back around, and the lighting has changed a little bit since I had to charge my battery, um, we are left with the bookshelf. Um, I think that's the last thing we have to go over, so let's dive into that. We'll start at the top this time. First, I have this organization drawer thing on top. Um, in here are my paints, so the bottom has paint. This one is the heaviest drawer of paint. And then in the top drawer, I keep my palettes, um, foam stamps, glitter glue, um, texture supplies, brush cleaners, glitter glue, all that stuff. Super fun. And on top of that, I have my watercolor palettes that were given to me. The paints that don't fit anywhere else. Um, I have my paint brush rack up here. So I have my palette knives, um, some wooden dowels, the foam brushes. And then behind that, I have this organizer, which is just a letter organizer. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it from this side here. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, I just have a letter organizer where I store like glassine bags, um, little coin envelopes, cork, tissue paper, um, similar to the one that's on my desk, just a secondary place for it. Next to that, on top of this unit, I have my Project Life cards. And again, sorry for the blown out lighting. Um, it's right next to a window. Uh, so four by six are in this side and then three by fours are in this side. And a subscriber actually sent me these ones. Very cute, so I put those in the front. I have a Creative Memories guillotine trimmer right here, and then more palettes underneath that for my paint. Here I have two cutting mats. I used to keep my embossing gun up here, um, so I'd bring this um, heat map with me so I could emboss on it so it didn't warp my surface, but now I have a paper, or I mean a mat that already does that on my desk. Then you can see some junk over there, don't look at that. <laughs> and then in these two crates I keep my 6x6 paper pads, so I'll stick to this one so the lighting's better down here. And they're not in any rhyme or reason organization, but they are just in here. Um, sometimes I put the ones I want to use, so like you can see these ones are a little bit more empty, are on the bottom right because that's where I reach to first. And then some of my newer ones are up here. And then way on top here, which I don't know if we'll come into focus, but I'll take one down. I keep my sequin trays. These are my non-Spiegel Mob scrap sequins. These are just like the ones you can buy in bulk um, in like one color. So I keep them in a divided tray like that. So next up we have this um, organizer here. These are kind of out of place. Uh, but this is just an 8.5 by 11 paper organizer. And you can tell that there's a lot of somewhat organization going on here, as I would call it. And again, these are very out of place. But neutrals up here, oranges, and then into a couple of other shades of neutrals. The pinks are here. Blues and greens are over here. And then I have extras down here and then some specialty, so like acetate. I think I have vellum in here too. Yeah, this one's vellum. And then up here before I forget, this is how I store my stencils. They're just in a big 12 by 12 bag and then they're sorted by size. So the smallest ones would be in the front, the biggest ones in the back. And then down here I have uh, my, this is my Strathmore paper and then my watercolor papers underneath that. And I keep the scraps in a 8.5 by 11 page protector. And then my Nina Solar white card stocks right here. Then the final section is my weird shaped paper pad. So I have one eight by eight and one eight and a half by 11. And they just go in here. And then I keep uh, specialty eight and a half by 11s or whatever this weird creative memory size is here. So I have a lot of tear paper and then random ones from like Joann's that I've purchased. So a couple there. And then this did not get put away, but we'll keep going. Next shelf is a lot of fun stuff. The boxes on the left are photos. Um, so you can find all my kind of photos there. Some are organized much more than others. This one also has ephemera in it, so that's why it looks a little bit more messy. To the right, I have my cuddle bug supplies, so all my embossing folders are here. 
and see him back there. Then my cuddle bug. And then up here to the right of the paper organizer are all of my dies. Um, most of them have stayed in their original packaging, but you can see I have some on the metal sheets. So sometimes I use those. Depends how big this set is. Then the second to last shelf here, I have paper punches. This is photos again, paper punches. This is a card tote that I make up sometimes. So I'll put stuff I wanna work on for cards in this tote and then bring it out to like the living room or in the car. And that way I can work with like a little kit. Um, so I have some birthday supplies in there right now. These are all of my card fronts and card bases and envelopes that are coordinating with those um, in this crate. And then the final shelf, which is the shelf I don't visit very often, I have ribbon, well, bigger ribbons and then flowers. Um, so these are where all my paper flowers are. My inchies, photo paper. No, I do not own a photo printer, but I do own photo paper. My Creative Memories cutting set. My other colored inks, which these are Whisper inks. Googly eyes, watercolor pencils, watercolor. Uh, my, what are these ones? These are my markers. I just don't remember what kind. The La Plume ones. Oh man, that was a loud noise. Sorry about that. Um, that was my alcohol ink blender there. Um, I don't own any alcohol inks, so I don't know why I own that. And then this is markers, X-Acto knife markers, colored pencils, and then my splatter screen for the uh, mixed media stuff. So it captures all those extra bits. And then this is the pole to my lighting system. So that's just there. To the left here, I have this blue cube from Ikea. I keep all the stuff I want to use for shipping and for kitting over here. So I have 12 by 12 bags, smaller than 12 by 12 bags, and then I keep all my packaging so that I can reuse it and ship out things that way. Also keep our shredder over here and a tripod and my uh, diffuser for the light. And then I have an entire video about this 12 by 12 storage system. So if you guys are interested in watching that, I'll have that link down below, but they are in rainbow order. Um, and that's pretty much it for that. So let's do one final overview. All right, friends, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below, but I will slowly be packing up this space over the next few weeks to uh, start moving it to my new apartment. Um, but I'm really excited to, well, I'm working in a smaller space, but it will be nice to, you know, go through everything and sort of see how it goes with the new space. But Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.